Hello everyone. Today I will be taking you through the demo of Udo 8 Clinic Management System, a product by Pragmatic TechSoft. First, I will take you through the configurations of the system. These are lab testing units. We can create new lab testing units as well. These are different type of lab tests which are configured in the system. In diseases, we have around 14,181 diseases pre-configured in the system as per ICD-10 standards. In physicians, we have physician record wherein we maintain details like the address, phone number, telephone number, fax, email, etc. of the physician. We have details like the speciality, the institution and the ID of the physician. In medicaments, we have list of different medicaments in the system. We have dosage, frequency details, dosage unit details, different type of administration, different type of medicament administration rules medicament forms, different type of forms of medicines and the categories. Next, under genetics, we have a list of around 4,298 different kind of genetic risks along with details like what is the official long form of the genetic disorder which is the affected chromosome etc. In miscellaneous, we have details like different kind of medical specialities. We have around 653 different occupations listed in the database, different ethnic groups, and the details of recreational drugs. In this, we also maintain details like what is the category of the recreational drug, what is the dependency, and their street names. Next, let's move towards the patient record. We maintain a detailed information of the patient like name, address detail, then the gender, birth date, general information like what is the ethnic group, what is the address, uh, the disease history of the patient, medication that the patient is taking, appointments history of the patient, genetic risk details if any. We also maintain lifestyle details like how many hours the patient sleeps every day, how, uh, how much physical exercise the patient does every day, diet information, addiction information, sexuality information and safety information. At the end we have lab tests wherein we maintain the details of the lab test history of the patient. Next, let's move towards the appointments form. This is a sample appointment form wherein we enter the start date, the end date of the appointment, the patient who wants to see the appointment, what is the name of the physician who will be attending the patient. In prescriptions, we maintain the prescription details, what medicine the doctor has prescribed. We can also take a print of this prescription and it can be given to the patient. An invoice can be created against this appointment. Next, let's move towards the lab test requests. As you can see, this is a sample request. The name of the patient, the test type and the name of the doctor who has requested this can be saved in the system. We can create lab test as well as lab invoice against this request. This is a sample lab test. This details will be pre-populated as per the configurations done in the configuration part of the system. The user will only have to click and then enter the result. For example, Percent apolimeters two percent. I enter over here. 
and save. Print can also be taken of this lab report. This is a sample lab test report. Family records can also be created wherein all the members of same family are listed under one family record. This helps to track the diseases or some genetic disorder, possible genetic disorder using the family's past history. Next we have is invoices. Invoices can be created for lab requests, for the appointments and for the prescriptions. This is a sample lab request which can be invoiced. This is an invoice which can be edited and the information can also be uh, added, added in this as per our will. We can take money against the invoice and the invoice goes in paid state. This information is also, um, this, this information is updated in the balance sheet. Similarly, we can create invoices for appointments and for prescriptions as well. In medical service, we get an option wherein we can enter uh, the other, uh, we can enter the invoice lines for other invoices as well other than appointments, prescriptions and lab requests if we want to. Next is the reporting part wherein we have medicament list. This is a list of medicaments. Appointment evaluation per doctor here wherein you can enter the name of the physician, the start date and the end date. Based on this the appointment evaluation will be done per doctor. These are the appointments for Allen Harper. Next we have appointment evaluation per prescription. These are the appointment evaluations per prescription. This is for appointment search. We can search appointments based on the speciality. We also have other options like creating blocks. This is a sample block that has been created. We can enter more information over here. We have website as well wherein we can publish various details. Thus blocks can be written. Reporting can be done on the website. This website is linked with clinics. So you can add details related to clinic thus along with clinic website is also provided which will be helpful for the users to connect with the patients that's all about udu 8 clinic management system by pragmatic techsoft thank you everyone have a good day